Alright, here we are yet again in Mega Aquarium. Today we're doing level 9, Carbon City. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Carbon City. Carbon City Aquarium used to be top of the line, but as technology has moved on, it has failed to keep up. It has a good selection of tanks and livestock, but the tanks are understocked held back by a lack of new filtration equipment. Your mission is to invest in new equipment and livestock and fulfill the potential of this old aquarium. Best of luck. What do we want to research first? You know what? Let's be bold. Let's go for this large tunnel tank. I can just, I can see it now, you know, just a large tunnel tank in this aquarium once we expand it and to start out let's go with this blonde skate it um it worked out really well for us in the last level so we'll go with that let me just pause the game for a quick moment and just assess the situation we're going to go one by one through these tanks, don't worry. Um, they just kind of plop you into an aquarium with all sorts of problems wrong, but don't get overwhelmed. We can handle it. So, firstly, we have this horse eye jack in tank four, and the horse eye jack is a shoaler. So there needs to be at least three horse eye jacks in the tank at all times. So let's put two more of those in there. Okay, that requirement is met. Now all of the fishes are happy now. Next thing we're gonna worry about is the filtration. I mean, we have filters. I don't, I'm not sure why this is an issue. We just add two filters to it and it's fine, but let's, let's go a step further. Let's actually... Let's make this look good. The large filters are going to be more powerful. The large filters, the large heaters are going to be more powerful than the par power combines that try to save space by combining both, both heating and filtration. But on their own, they're more powerful, so we'll go with those. Okay, there was a power skimmer on here. We should probably add one of those. Yeah, because the normal filters can't get over 70, I don't think. Let's go with one of the protein skimmers, one of the large ones. All right, tank four is good. This tank is just missing some rocks. That's an easy fix. We have some space for some more fish at least uh, 20 space so let's see if we can add anything here we could let me see 21 oh this is perfect okay because we can do math here um, we have 15 out of 36 capacity being utilized right now that that leaves space for 21 fishes this Bartlett Anthea is size 3 and there needs to be at least 7. 7 times 3, that's 21, so that should fill up the rest of this space. And uh, let's do it. Uh, 
All right, the fish are unhappy because filtration is pretty low. We can fix that pretty easily though. How's that? Okay, not enough. Of course not. Nothing is easy. But we have a good amount of cash to start out with, so you know what? I'm gonna just expand this way as far as I can. I can fit a pump back here. Need a skimmer. We'll put some krill nearby. And that's 36 out of 36. Oh, hmm. Okay, see, this is this is the only drawback. The only care requirement that isn't being met perfectly. Oblique line dotty back. Doesn't like other dotty backs. How could I forget? Okay, I don't want to get too careless, but I think we can actually move this dotty back into this tank right here. That might work out better for it. So that's going to free up uh, three spots for this tank seven. Let's go with another Bartlett Anthea. It'll fit right in there with the shoulder group. All right, so now we're looking at tank 10. Uh, we need rocks. We need rock decorations. What do we have? Okay, we have one rock in there, and this rubble is worth seven, so that'll work out. Everyone's happy. And we have a space for six fish in here. What about two of these clownfish? Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay, we have a... The filtration is taking a hit. That's okay. Wow, okay. So this is what we, um, we learned from the intro to this level was that this aquarium has failed to kind of update with the times i was saying earlier that you're going to get more filtration and heating power when you're using the large versions of these things as opposed to trying to combine them together it's cheaper to combine them together sure but you're losing out on both heat and filtration so that's what we're going to focus on upgrading. Okay, tank 7, good. Tank 10, good. Tank 9, what do we got? We got 13 fish in a size 23 tank. Oh, the fish in there are pretty happy. So we have si uh, space for a size 10 fish. Could put two of these red leg hermit crabs in there. I think that might be okay. They need some decorations, which is perfect because there's no decorations in here yet. Okay, that is good enough for their requirements, but let's add some more. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so I think we've got this side of the aquarium kind of squared away. Next, we can kind of take a look over here. We have a big uh, cold water tank. And we have access to the large chiller, so this is an obvious upgrade right here. Okay, large chiller, large filter, and this tank is good to go. How about this tank? 
So we have 33 space of 60 being used. It's cold water. Wow, I'd put, I'd put a cot in there, but it, it would be too large. It wouldn't be able to grow up completely because there's not enough space in there. Yeah, n neither of these fish are going to work, actually, because the cod at its full size, it's going to overflow the tank, and the mackerel needs needs a group of six. Six times eight, that's 48. That's well over our maximum uh, capacity of fish. So we're just going to wait to fill this cold water tank up. That's okay. Moving right along. How's this one doing? Okay, it's another cold water tank. Hmm, and the Balan Rass does not have enough space to grow up. How much space does it need? needs 14 space okay i think what we're gonna do we're gonna move this balan ras to the big cold water tank it's risky it is very risky because it's size six and there's a couple fish in here that will eat a size six let's hope Let's hope no one gets eaten. Let me as well... Let's see. Okay, we have a good amount of staff. No zones, but everyone is keeping busy. We have a, we have a whole bunch of applicants. All the tanks are good. Okay, there's some heating issues right here. All right, now we'll let the clock run for a bit, get that uh, prestige up, and uh, build up our money. Hello, I'm contacting you on behalf of Ocean Life Consortium. We have funding for t one of two potential observation studies. The first study looks at the behavior of fried egg jelly, while the second looks at Red leg hermit crab. Would you be willing to work with us on one of these studies? We did place one of these hermit crabs already. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 just ex accept the quest for the uh, hermit crab. If I could just remember where I put those hermit crabs. The filtration is taking a hit over here. Our Balan Ras grew up. That should be good now. Okay, I put two hermit crabs in here. There's not really enough space for much else. It's the only thing. Maybe I can move this royal grandma somewhere. Blue line dotty back, we can move over here. Okay, so we have 14 out of 23 space. I don't know if there's going to be enough space to meet this objective. We'll see. No, there's not. I don't have enough space to place another one. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, over here in tank one, we have... Um, well, we don't have enough space in here either, but it doesn't matter because these groupers like to munch on little hermit crabs. And that's not going to work for us. So, instead of just 
trying to use the tanks we have. Let's go ahead and expand over to the left. Let's see what we can do with this area. Every, every tank doesn't need to be like a giant tank, you know? All the necessities. Okay, that might be overkill. Okay, um, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to buy more hermit crabs. Let's just move the ones we have. Two, three, four. One more of those. Okay. Let's find some more fish for the uh, hermit crab exhibit. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put some of these bubble tip in here. Three ought to do it. We need lights. Mm, I thought that was going to count as another fish. I guess not. Put some clownfish in here. We're going to need one more fish. Yeah, I think we can steal this. We can steal this uh, blue line Donnie back from tank five. That'd be okay. Just put it in there. You know what? Since we're looking at tank five, let's, let's go ahead and steal that disco mushroom. I think it might look better right here. Hmm, I kind of feel like I missed an opportunity to make this a corner tank, but we'll, we'll put some vending machines right here. It'll be okay. All right, let's get the uh, filtration where it needs to be. So we'll get a pump in here. Yeah, it has the uh, corals in here, so it needs a higher water quality. That's that's something we know. All right, we just have to hold that for two minutes. Let's not forget about the rock decorations. Okay, let's keep looking at the tanks we have. Tank five, I just stole a fish from here, so we have some space to work with. We actually don't need the lights on here anymore. We can fit some clownfish in here, let's do that. Could probably use some decorations, even though it's not required. What about this tank? Hey, this tank is actually doing pretty well. It's it's at full capacity. The fish are happy. There's no issues with it. Let's we could add some decorations to it for sure, though. Observation concluded. The results of the red leg hermit crab study are in and truly fascinating. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Halfway to that rank 11. About to unlock uh, our research and our animal. So I think we're making pretty good progress. Here we go, blonde skate. Good to see you. Let's go.
go after this Achilles surgeon fish. Oh boy, what is happening? Okay, right here we're having some issues. Okay, the equipment's breaking down. Oh, the staff can't get back there. <laughs> yeah, well, there's your problem. Let's see if that fixes it. Add a door over here too for easy access. Okay, I just had a had a, an idea. It's gonna require a lot of a lot of expansion, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna move this restroom to over here, and let's see. I'm gonna want to bring this all the way around, make a little circle. That way people can just walk straight down here, do a big circle, do, do another circle if they feel like it, or if they decide to come down, take a left over here then they'll be met with more tanks or just another roundabout where they can, you know, circle back to where they've already been. And uh, that's really what you want to do. You don't want to have too many of these kind of dead ends because otherwise the tanks over here are just, they're just not going to be seen as much as the other ones. Probably going to need to take this out a little bit more. All our tanks look... Look to be doing all right. Let's get some more feeders in here. Mm, yeah, this this area, this little roundabout has a lot of potential for us. So let's get it right. This deep observer tank can be our main centerpiece. Okay, this <laughs> this looks like a mess, but I have I have an idea, okay? This is what we're going to do. Let's put one of these bathrooms over here. We're going to have one at the same spot on the other side. Sure. All right, next to research. Let's see what's Let's see what we're missing. Okay, we're missing a power pump. That This could come in super handy. Let's get that first. Okay, because this is what I'm thinking. We put a guidebook shelf right here at the corner. At that corner and at this corner. And we get one of these guidebook supplies right here on the inside of the door. Okay, we don't we don't need to like expand too far away from the exit. People are gonna get tired. So this is this will kind of be our border. And I think if we have any of these giant palm trees, we can just put these in the corner. Next research, let's go with the large double filter. Symmetry is just so important. And in here, let's see, what do we have room for? Have some restrooms, why not? This will probably be a good tank to have a, a podium and a mic headset nearby. Could probably use a uh, tool station in this area, let's get one.
let's try to fit a pump into this corner right here. Hmm, maybe, maybe that's not the best spot for one, actually. How about something like this? Let me move the tool station. Alright, this will be a tropical tank. Okay, I didn't realize they were just going to start talking and, um, in front of an empty tank. That's my mistake. We have a lot of fish that we don't, um, we have access to a lot of fish that we don't already have. Let's see. I think these real tang, uh, regal tangs would look nice. They're active swimmers. They need at least 48, uh, a size 48 tank. Should be no problem. We can put some of these surgeon fishes in there with them. Let's do that. Maybe four of each. Okay, we have a lot more space, but before we worry about that, let's get the decorations that we need in here. Okay. Okay, they got their food, they got their heat, they just need filtration now. Looks like they need a slightly higher quality than I am providing. Let's put one of these double filters on the end. Okay, now this tank is good to go. Still have a good amount of space left. Let's see. This blue spotted ribbon tail ray looks kind of nice. It's a wimp. So, it's not going to bother anyone else. Let's go for the copper band toy shelf. And we'll place, let's see, let's do two of these ribbon tail rays. You know what? I think we might be able to fit two more of those. At least one more. Let's just put one more in there for now. Need some more filtration. You want more filtration, you got it. Oh, even more. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> wow. Mm. Still not enough. There we go. What is this? Okay, we need live lugworms. Okay, how do we get live lugworms? This is how. We get one of these cultures. We put it next to one of these zooplanktons. And it should produce food for us. This one, this podium, they can talk about the ribbon tail ray. I think those are pretty cool. <laughs> it's talking to no one right now. I guess I should open up this area. Let's see. Can go for the Wobgong shark next. All right, we're opening it up to the masses. 
wish us luck. Okay, before before everyone starts running this way, I do want to just just gotta add a little aquarium somewhere over here. Sure, sure. All right. Can we fit in here? It's a size 10 tank. Yeah, we can fit some of these seahorses in here. Can only be housed with other seahorses. And there needs to be two of them. They get to size four, so two times four, that's eight. That will fill up this tank nicely. Gonna need to fit a pump in here, actually. Here's what we'll do. Move the bathroom over by one. Goodness gracious, we're just one one filtration away from being able to meet this goal. So we're going to have to get a pump in here. Just do something simple. Power combi works okay, I think. These seahorses need live Artemia. So let's get that for them. Let's just fill in some of the empty spaces, we can fit some vending machines. Yeah, that'll work. What do you want? You want coffee? Nope. You want another drink? Nope. You want chocolate? Nope. Well then, doesn't matter because you're not looking for a vending machine. All the tanks look okay. Except for this one right here is struggling in the filter department. Okay. This is as far as we can expand. That's actually more than enough space for us. Oh no! We can put one of these large filters over here on this pump. Oh, well we could if we had enough money, of course. Oh no! We had an angelfish, a casualty. An angelfish was eaten by their tank mate. That's very unfortunate. That's that's our fault for not for not really inspecting every tank very thoroughly when we first got here. Um, but you know, if we get angelfish in the future, we'll be able to place another one down. It's okay. Uh, let's go for the popcorn next. We're just going to move a couple of things around here. And I'm going to actually add a little balloon 
gift shop area right here. I think that might be a good spot for one. Balloon shelf. Let's get some money first. Okay, we're gonna need some balloon supply. Marble serpent starfish could not grow up. Okay, where is this tank? It needs to get to size 8. Maybe if we move some of the clownfish out of here, we can give the starfish some room to grow. Alright, I think we're doing alright. Uh, just have a little over 1,000 to go for our prestige requirement. Only five more guests, so we're pretty pretty well on our way to hit that goal. Okay, I just placed this uh, deep tank, this large deep tunnel tank. Going to need a very high platform to reach this. Just move all of this all of this food back a little bit. Could probably use the opposite side to put the uh, filters and everything we need. Oh gosh, so many things to research. Let's go for this uh, mega double filter. What do we want next? Let's get the last, um, the last coral from rank nine. Slowly but surely gonna open up this area. Okay, we need to get this Leopard shark over here. We need to move it to this new tank. Oh no, it needs a rounded tank. Oh goodness gracious. That's right, okay. That's, that's my mistake. Sorry, Mr. Shark. Let's see, if we have enough money to expand, we can make it work. Rounded tank. Let's try this tunnel tank, shall we? Yep, 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 yep. It's just so much work to do, you know? I like to get all the vending machines down in an area before I try to open it up and put some fish in the tanks. Just gonna use a pump to support this tank. 
And there goes all my money. Oh, I'm just not making enough money to support all the expansion. So it's happening to the horse eye jacks now as well. At their full size, they need 162 space. Okay, let's let's make some switches around here. I'm gonna move the leopard shark to this round tank. I'm gonna move these horse eye jacks as well. Get some decorations in here. Man, I feel so bad for these fish. What can we do? What can we do to raise this filtration? Still not enough. There we go. Okay, so now that we're um, finally getting around to looking at our message log, we have this, this side objective. We'd like you to prove that we can sell a certain amount of balloons, copper band toys, and shark hats to secure the deal. Are you interested? Sure. So we will accept that objective. And that means our next research, we'll go ahead and research the shark hat shelf. Now it's open to everyone. Okay, just, just trying to get everything squared away as far as these tanks are concerned. Uh, every, every once in a while, they just keep popping up with issues. Let's get another pump over here. All right, so now it doesn't look like any... Um, any tanks are having any issues, that's good. Let's go for that shark hat shelf. Oh boy, what's happening now? Cause hunger. Yeah, let's get some food nearby. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Oh no! One of my horse eye jacks died. Unbelievable. Poor guys. Ooh. Could probably use some more staff, some more feeders. Okay, one more dead fish and we're gonna start assigning zones. We probably should have assigned zones a while ago, but I thought we could just kind of make it without them. This guy's on the way with the food, he should be okay. And we're really just barely scraping by right now. 
Okay, I think some of these humpback snappers would look nice in this big tank. But we have enough room to support them. So let's go ahead and place a few down. Start with five. I'm just going to put every decoration I can think of in here. Why not? It seems like the visitors like the decorations more than the fish anyways. Okay, so we have a serpent starfish that just doesn't have enough space to grow up. Okay, I'm going to... I moved one of the starfishes into this large tank. It'll grow up in one day. Let's hope it does. Otherwise, the humpback snappers are going to eat it. Can probably fit a tank or two in this area. Let's try to do that. Go ahead and get a pump right here. Negative five hundred dollars, new record. Okay, our starfish grew up in the new tank. That is great news. We don't have any of these mirror antheas. They roll uh, in groups of six and they're size six each. So that's size 36. Yep, there's going to be enough space for them in here. Very nice. How about this blue whiting? Alright, we got the shark hat shell finally. We can put this shark hat shelf down right here. Go ahead and add another shark shelf on this side. Just right there will be fine. Okay, let's see if um, that's enough to meet our gift shop goal. We might actually need another a, a balloon shelf somewhere. Very nice. License deal acquired. We gained a boost to our base prestige. Very nice. 500 away from our overall objective. 
What is this? I hear you have plans to bring a black tip reef shark into the aquarium. I have three in my collection, but unfortunately for me, they will soon outgrow my private tank. I would be happy to donate them to an aquarium, provided that you make the exhibit as close to real life as possible. Let's just accept this quest and we can work our way toward it. Let me add some decorations in here first. Yeah. Look at all these tanks just lacking in the decoration department. Let's get some more help. Alright, let's see if we can fit a tank in here. A tank... 210 in size. Okay, this will do it. Okay. make sure the filtration is where it needs to be it's probably gonna need at least one of these mega double filters what else do we need Good, good. Just need some rocky decorations now. For the um, science point value, we're going to need to add some fish in here. Let's see, what are some good candidates? Okay, we can place one of these Wobgong sharks. We can also do, let's see, three of these horse-eye jacks. Oh gosh, running low on money. Just gotta get a few more fish in there and then we will meet the science point requirements. Thinking maybe just another horse eye jack, something easy that we know will get along with everyone else. Whenever we can afford it, of course. can we fit in here maybe one of these blue spotted ribbon tail rays oh no and the ribbon tails there uh, the horse eye jacks are bullies so the ribbon tails aren't gonna like that let's just just sell the ribbon tails we don't need to stress them out like that Okay, we'll add some uh, humpback snappers. Wow, I keep I keep adding animals in here, but the point value is just not as high as I would expect.
Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's let's get a podium over here too while we're at it. We can talk about the Wobgong shark. Do we have all of this food nearby? Could probably use a cockle dispenser. What about this grouper? I think this grouper might be able to fit in here. Okay, <laughs> three groupers and that's all it took. Now we have some black reef sharks to place down. I'm just gonna put them all in here because this is the tank we built for them. Uh-oh. Not enough space. Wow, these, these sharks are gonna get bigger too, yikes. I'm just gonna sell these groupers. Okay, hopefully that's enough space for the sharks. Get another pump over here just to make sure everything is tip top. Oh my goodness, there's so many fish in this tank, it's going to be an impossible to get the water quality where it needed to be. Okay. Oh no, the reef shark is eating my snappers. Tragic. Okay, I'm just going to sell the snappers. If they're at risk of being eaten, then I mean, it's not good for anyone really. So we'll just we'll just sell those right off the bat. Oh, what is happening? Leopard shark also eaten by the reef shark. Oh, I'm starting to think these reef sharks aren't very friendly. Okay, I saw this message earlier, the giant Pacific octopus. Yes, yes, yes. We definitely do want one of these. We're gonna need a tank with size 80. Where can we fit something like that? Okay, right here, I think. That'll do it. This will be a perfect spot for our um, octopus. We need to trade a uh, ribbon tail for it. So where are my ribbon tails? What does the octopus need? Okay, cold water. Let's get that. Wow, it needs a whole bunch of cave decorations. 30 for one octopus. Oh, wow, look at this. Gaping cavern is uh, perfect. Match made in heaven. 
Whoa, that's wrong. Cannot grow until requirements are met. What are the requirements? Oh no, it needs a rounded tank. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not, not really picking up on the care requirements right now. Um, I wonder, let me, let me see if I can move it over here. Oh no, it's a cold water fish. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. I need a rounded tank. Just needs to be size 80. One of these Belfast tanks will do. Okay, we'll move the octopus back. We'll move its decoration back as well. Okay, well, at least the octopus isn't gonna be at risk of dying. It's just suffering slightly because of the filtration, but that's okay. We'll get it up to where it needs to be. Okay, we're hovering around the guest requirement right now. And about 200 prestige away from reaching rank 11. Sure enough. Oh, bonehead shark, sweet. Blue ring octopus, I hear those are poisonous. Green turtle. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Spotty Eagle Ray. Wow. Wow, the boxfish has gotten eaten by the reef shark in sh uh, Tank 17. It looks like the staff is having trouble keeping, um, keeping up with so many areas and so many different tanks. So let me go ahead and assign some zones really quick. Okay, we have three zones. Last but not least, cover this area up. Just gonna randomly assign people. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we'll have two people just um, patrolling the entire area and not assigned to any one specific location. But um, these people assigned to these zones should at least help with all the fish being fed in a timely manner. Hopefully. This is really the only place I have left to fit a tank. So let's go ahead and do that. Back up. We'll just do a small uh, deep tank. Oh my goodness, my my staff just are not not able to keep these reef sharks happy. The only time these reef sharks are happy is when they're eating other fish in the tank. And uh, that's just not, it's not what I want. Yikes, the, yeah, these, um, 
These reef sharks take forever to feed. Hmm, that is a little concerning. Okay, let's make this a cold water tank. We can put uh, one of those skates in here. start filling up some of these tanks with decorations whatever can push us over the top uh, as far as the prestige requirement We might be able to actually fit some kind of lagoon tank right here. Just have to connect it with a pump. Alright, but what fish do we want in here? Could do a seahorse tank, that might be kind of cool. Yeah, we're doing cold water. And I think... I think some seahorses, just only seahorses, would look kind of nice in here. Okay, I just put nine in there, I think. <laughs> we, might be, we might be pushing the limit, but we'll see. Oh no, the seahorses have a problem with the uh, anemones. Can you believe it? Oh well, it's worth a shot. Okay, well, whatever makes the seahorses happy. some of this mysis shrimp all right let's see how they like that Oh, it happened. One of our black tip reef sharks died of hunger. Oh, oh my goodness. If I mean, I would fire my staff if I could, but I mean, I need them. Otherwise, my other fish are going to die. So it's very disappointing. Just gonna let the clock run for a little bit, see how the aquarium does. I mean, I mean, <laughs> what can I do? My staff just cannot feed the sharks fast enough. Oh no, we lost another shark. Gosh. Oh no, and, and whenever we lose a fish uh, due to whatever reason, we lose uh, prestige. That's, that's not good. I'm, I'm totally not taking the blame on this one. This is the staff's fault, 100, 110%. I've div I divvied up the zones. They just, I mean, it takes them all day to feed one shark, so... So let's just hope we can keep at least one alive. Okay. 
Let me see. Let's try to get another Lagoon tank right here. Sure. If I connect it to this tank, it'll need to be another cold water tank. I think that might be okay. Let's see. I have 32 space, and this Atlantic Cod gets to size 32. <laughs> I think it's meant to be. Let's put some decorations in there. Okay, all of the tanks are being looked after. Wait, let me see. Choose now. Let's go for this spotted eagle ray. Why not? Okay, it's saying we don't have this mysis shrimp. Oh gosh, we might need another one of these mysis shrimp cultures. Those uh, seahorses sure can eat a lot. Well, let's uh, let's hit fast forward for a bit. See how how much prestige we're working with over here. Okay, we're doing all right, but uh, we're just not quite there yet so i'm thinking we're gonna have to expand just just a tad more could probably fit another podium right here Okay, right here we're gonna need a tank. We're gonna need a tank to get us 300 prestige, so not just any old basic tank. I'm thinking a deep wall tank might look good. Yeah, a wide one. Okay, maybe we can put some more of these box fish in. I, I placed some earlier. I had to sell them because they weren't getting along with the other fish. But let's see. Oh no, the copper band butterflies. They are... They do not like to be housed together. So instead of going with a lot of copper bands, we'll go with a couple more of these box fish. Let's get a hermit crab in here. Okay, we haven't even filled this tank up halfway yet, but I feel like that's plenty to keep our staff busy. When in doubt, just place a whole bunch of decorations. That's what the people want. Okay, let's uh, level up some of our staff. Feeding and fixing are the go-to ones. Yeah, feeding was especially important in this round, in this level, because 
Gosh, we had f quite a few casualties due to hunger, which is really unfortunate. Okay, we've just about met our goal. We did it. You made smart choices on where to invest your time and money and have built Carbon City Aquarium into a state-of-the-art attraction with some of the most prestigious livestock around. You are now ready for the final challenge. It's time to build a true mega aquarium. We're going to Megalopolis. Sweet. We did it. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, zoom in for the first person tour. We can check this aquarium out. All right, first thing you see when you come in is this uh, tank with squirrel fish. <laughs> Would have been nice to put some extra decorations in here, but you know what? Looks okay. Oh yeah, and then right here we have some uh, corals, as well as some hermit crabs, and some, uh, gosh, some clownfish, and I think that's a dotty back. Just a very diverse ecosystem. Very nice, very nice. I believe these are some type of antheas. Shoaler that needs at least six fishes at all times. Very nice decorations in this one as well. I like I like the seahorse lagoon tank, okay? It fits right in here. Okay, we have the big the big tropical tank. We have some horse eye jacks in here as well as a leopard shark. So that's a pretty good looking tank right there. Ooh, this large one we have the red snappers. Gosh, is that all we put in this large tunnel tank? That's a shame because this thing can fit a ton of fish. We tried to put a shark in here, but um, the shark we were working with needed a rounded tank, which this is not, so we had to move it. But oh, we do have a little, uh, little starfish hiding down there. What else? What else? Um, right here we have an angelfish, a rabbit fish. It's a pretty basic tank. Nothing, nothing too flashy. Got a starfish right here. Hmm. And I wonder if this is a cod. Let's see. The, oh no, it's the Atlantic Pollock. Of course, of course. Very nice, very nice. We have our clownfish tank. Looking very lovely right here on this corner. Yeah, and I actually didn't touch this tank at all. It just had some groupers in it, an eel, and a puffer fish, and yeah, I think it I think it worked out pretty well for us. Let's see what else. Okay, we have some other seahorses. I look pretty happy in there. Okay. This is definitely the coolest fish in here. I don't know why there isn't a crowd around here. 
Um, but I feel like any time I ever go to a, an aquarium, the octopus is never just out in the open. It's always hidden somewhere. So this is pretty cool. Um, gosh, okay. This is like completely unnecessary, but... People need to know about this octopus, so we're gonna put a podium down right here. And right here we have a uh, crop out tank, a ribbon tail ray, some Achilles surgeon fish, as well as some regal tangs, filling this tank up quite nicely. Here is where we have the cod, absolute uh, monster of a fish. No space for any other fish in this tank. The blonde skate also taking up this entire tank to itself. I mean, I kind of feel bad, you know, putting some of these fish by themselves because they do get along with others, but you know, sometimes it's easier to just keep them to themselves and you don't have to worry about them getting eaten. Um, wow, okay. Speaking of getting eaten. Wow. Our black tip reef shark die. <laughs> this was the last one. Our third and last reef shark died of hunger in our aquarium. It's it's not something I'm gonna actually put on the resume. Probably gonna pretend like it never happened. Somebody reached out to me in the message log and they were like, hey, can you take these sharks for me? I said I could do it, but Maybe I shouldn't have answered as quick because all of them ended up dying. Otherwise, these horse eyed jacks look pretty comfortable in here. Talk about uh, massive fishes. We got some more clownfish, uh, royal grandma. Oh my goodness, and I, this is another tank that I didn't do anything with the entire round, or the entire level. There's just one lionfish in here. <laughs> I could have put some more lionfish in here, and uh, I'm sure I would have built up prestige much faster. Back here in this corner, we have a little serpent starfish, some crabs couple of other fishes and last but not least in this corner we have a couple of shoulders we have the half and half chromis and I think those are um, antheas maybe let's see Bartlett antheas yes they look really nice And right here we have another uh, cold water tank. Have a uh, turbot in there, as well as a Balin Ras, and I think that's the Kaku Ras back there. We've seen all these fish before. We are familiar with them. And uh, yeah, this aquarium looks pretty nice, I think. Quite the aquarium, quite the aquarium indeed.
Very nice, very nice. Well, we completed level nine. Um, thank you so much for watching, if you were watching, and um, I will see you next time.